My name is Don Posey. I'm from the little town of Double Springs. It's located in the northwest portion of the great state of Alabama. Heritage Christian University, or International Bible College, has been very important to my family since the earliest days of IBC. I can vividly remember my father, Donald Posey, speaking of the great respect he held for Brother Charles Cole and how grateful he was that my family was being allowed to participate in the work that was going on at International Bible College. My father passed away in 2000, and shortly following his passing, he was given an honorary doctorate degree by the university. Shortly after that, I was invited to serve on the board of directors of Heritage Christian University. Since that time, I have served the board of directors two terms as its vice chair, and I'm just about to finish up my second term as chairman of the board of directors of Heritage Christian University. Now, I tell you all this not to gloat and not to boast, but rather just to emphasize one single point, and that is this. My family has been faithful and loyal supporters of Heritage Christian University because of the mission of the school. Sure, there's many other universities that we could support in our brotherhood, but nowhere can we support a university that has a greater impact on saving lost souls and building up the church as does Heritage Christian University. I'd like to take this opportunity to encourage each of you to join us on May 5th as we send our students around the globe with our Globe to Grad Giving Day. Hey folks, Dale Jenkins here. Hope your day is going well. I've been blessed to serve on the Heritage Christian University Board for over 20 years. What a rich blessing this has been in my life to get to watch uh, graduates through the years, to get to interact with the teachers, the staff, and the fellow board members, and to see the godliness that exists in this place. Heritage is a unique place. It uh, offers some real blessings in the strength of its Bible teaching but and its mission, but it also offers a great blessing that is, uh, at least in two ways, unique to our specific time. One, the ability for our students to graduate without a lot of debt. At any time, that would be important, but right now, that may be more important than in the past. It also allows our students, many of them, to learn online. Who would have thought, even three months ago, what an asset that would be to our school? I was asked many years ago, a phone call from my good friend, Dr. John Kerr, to serve on the board of Heritage Christian. Every Sunday morning, a few of the elders at the Hamilton Church of Christ, where I was blessed to preach, and a few members would get together and pray. And every time, our good, beloved Jim Davis and our good Dr. Kerr would pray fervently about our, as they called it, little school, Heritage Christian, in those days, International Bible College, and they would pray fervently that God would bless that school. And they gave and sacrificed so that it could be a very special place. It's become a special place. And Dr. Brothers and each of the faculty and staff members bless many, many lives. But most of all, our students bless many lives as they go out and preach the gospel. This is a unique time. Heritage is in a unique place. On the 5th, we will send out students all over the world to spread the good news of the gospel. I, I remember when that call came from Dr. Kerr, and he invited me to serve on this uh, great board. I remember uh, what an honor it was to partner with the good work that I knew was going on and had gone on through uh, Brother Cole and then through Dennis at that time. Uh, what a blessing. I thought, what an opportunity to be a part of something good. Today, I challenge you to be a part of something good, to continue that kind of blessing, to bless our little school. It needs your help. God's been good to us. But what you give today could bless the school in a tremendous way. I encourage you to do so. I wish you the best. I hope you stay healthy. 
And if I can ever help you personally, please let me know. May God's richest blessings be yours is our prayer for you. Hi, I'm Roger Copeland. I'm on the board at Heritage Christian University. I've been on the board for a couple of years. My involvement with Heritage has spanned several decades, really. Um, we did mission work in Brazil in the 80s. Teddy and I and three of our four children were born there. Uh, we came back to Florence and been worshiping at the Stony Point Congregation. Uh, I've been an elder here for about five years, so we've been uh, supporting Heritage through Stony Point for several years. Wayne Barrier approached me about serving on the board, uh, I guess because of my legal background and mission background. They thought I might be interested in doing that, and I've enjoyed helping out. Uh, we've done stateside campaigns to South Carolina, uh, VBS in Kentucky, uh, Trinidad and Tobago on a mission campaign in college, also uh, Barbados on a mission trip from Stony Point. Stony Point's very involved in mission work all over the United States and all over the world. So uh, we feel like that kind of fits like a glove with uh, Heritage's mission. Also, Stony Point has been involved with uh, supporting some heritage graduates over the years and their places of uh, where they've done mission work. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jerry Self, and I'm greatly privileged and blessed to be associated with Heritage Christian University and especially currently to be able to serve on its board. Heritage Christian University from the very beginning has been all about sharing the saving gospel of Christ. I love the fact that it's all about that. It always has been, preparing folks to share Christ with others. The focus has always been twofold. Number one, sound, in-depth Bible instruction. And secondly, practical, real-world ministry. My first introduction was to Southeastern Institute of the Bible. And from it arose International Bible College and was eventually renamed Heritage Christian University. I graduated from IBC in 1980 after taking night classes and then finally attending one day a week for almost 10 years. Never had I been around people who were so evangelistic. It was a passion. Not only were the classes taught by knowledgeable Bible instructors, but there were personal evangelism workshops and frequent campaigns. I will be eternally grateful that IBC insisted that I participate in some of those personal evangelism activities. Going to a strange community and spending days with Christian people that I'd never met, spending entire days going from house to house, inviting people to attend services, asking them to have home Bible studies, correspondence courses, matters like that. This was not something that came easy for me, but the school insisted that I do it anyway. It took me far beyond my comfort zone. It was a blessing indeed. I will forever be thankful for not only those uh, classes, but also for the practical experience that they insisted that I have. And then to be invited to join the HCU Board of Directors was a great surprise to me and one of the greatest blessings of my life. The administration, the faculty, the staff, the students are terrific Christians and are all driven with a passion for serving Christ or sharing Christ with others. The Board of Directors is made up of amazing Christians. They love the Lord. They love HCU. They love each other. They have a passion to work to see that the saving gospel of Christ is shared with the whole world. This is a very small university, but folks connected with this school are working in nations all over the globe and are making a difference in preparing people for a home in heaven, not only here at home, but also around the globe. Could there be anything in the world better than to be blessed with the opportunity to be a part of such a group of Christian people? Well, yes, maybe one thing. That is to have a flesh and blood Christian family who are a great encouragement and who support me as I enjoy my associations with HCU. God has blessed me in every way. A Christian family, 
a church family that is great and a great Christian school, HCU, to be a part of. God is good. Good morning. I'm Dennis Stephen. I'm an elder of the Graymere Church of Christ in Columbia, Tennessee. I was asked about a year and a half ago to join the board of, of Heritage Christian University, and I was proud to do so. Kirk Brothers was the one who approached me, and uh, I have a background with Kirk. He was at our congregation as our pulpit minister from 2005 to 2012, and I saw Kirk in action. I saw his love for teaching young men to preach. He started a preaching school while he was at Graymere uh, that continues to this day. I also went on mission trips with Kirk, and I saw his, his love to, to train and to teach people uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And uh, also, my background, uh, I went to David Liskam University and got a Christian education. And then a few years later, we moved to Columbia, Tennessee, uh, my wife and I, and uh, we helped begin a Columbia Academy, a, a high school uh, that's a Christian school, and our children went there, and now our grandchildren go there. So our background in Christian education runs pretty deep. But when I saw Kirk and he asked me if I would be willing to join the board, I was, I was proud to do so. The board is made up of some great people who love the Lord and, and love the church and uh, fully support this school and its, its mission to teach young men to preach and teach and do mission work and to spread the gospel. Uh, we have enjoyed our association with that so much, and uh, we, we heartily endorse it. Right now, there's a, uh, there's a, a, a Grad to Globe giving campaign that's going on uh, tonight, and uh, we hope that you will support this cause. Uh, all good things like this need financial support, and uh, we would appreciate your support in this good work. My wife and I have already sent a check in and, and we are, we're proud to do so. And we would urge you to, if you're able. Thank you so much. God bless you.